everybody, Tim the Blacksmith. Welcome back, part two of the Thermite Ring Project. So this is the piece here. If you haven't seen the first part, go check that part out. This is the piece of Thermite. Thermite is uh, a reaction where you put uh, iron oxide and aluminum together and it creates this, uh, burns at like 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's insanity, just so hot. This is the byproduct. And if you saw in the last video, I wanted to forge it. And it has like these micro cracks in it, just like perpetually cracking when you forge it. But I'm hoping that we can machine, like we've already machined this and it looks pretty good. So I'm hoping it will make a ring that'll be really cool. Have all these like micro facets and cracks in it, but hopefully not fall apart. That's the question mark. So today we're jumping in on the milling machine. Uh, we're gonna drill our hole in it. I'll get that gauged up to fit my ring or my hand size of my ring is what I'm trying to say. And then at that point, we'll carve out the rest of it and hopefully it'll be just awesome. So thanks for being here. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get going on this project. Here we go. Ooh. Trying to just make sure, measuring my diameter of my finger correctly because I don't wanna over drill have a loose ring and not be able to go back. So I'm thinking about starting with five weeks drill and then maybe pumping up to this reamer, which is 0.712. I think that might be a little bit small still. Ooh, this looks like a nice one. And I do not have all my reamers stored on top of each other. Just in case you're wondering, that's not, that's not what's going on right here. No, I wouldn't do that. Mm -mm. Option for us to consider. All right, let's get drilling. Enough of this talking, let's go. Let's make something happen. Let's roll. Where did the part, oh, here it is. Okay, found it. No need to be alarmed. I am a professional, I know what I'm doing. It's not true. Looks like it, uh, it sort of drilled almost like cast iron and I guess you could sell me on that. So anyways, that's a 5 8 hole there. And now I'm gonna just bring it up size and keep playing with it here to get a good fit of my hand. Okay, so just drilled it to three quarter, or reamed it to three quarter, and take it out now and give it a test run on the finger and see how it fits. Oh, good job. Just gonna wipe it down. I'm starting to have all these bad thoughts about, ooh, if I stick my hand in there, it's a sharp edge. It's gonna get stuck and then cut my hand up trying to get it out, but. Here goes nothing, right? Okay, I definitely need bigger than three quarter. That's not a fit. When it comes to rings for guys, we all know the bigger the better. Look at that puppy, gorgeous. Wow, I really like how it reflects the light. Can you see that? Wow, what if we... <laughs> all right, let's get a bigger size on here. Okay, so we just increased it a little bit. We're gonna try it again. Who's grinding outside? Seriously. Try it out, see if it fits. Definitely still not a fit. Good bit more. So what I've done is I actually just took off this uh, rubber ring that I've been wearing and I found this reamer. I think it's gonna work out. Give it a go, Let's see what happens. So that is the third try. Third time's gotta be it, right? 
Oh, yes. That's perfect. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. We're all done. No. Oh, okay. Now I got to get it off. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's a different story. Easy does it. I feel like if I would just pull this off right now, I'd just cut all my skin off. Sharp edge. It'd be like a shear and a punch. Oh, man. Easy does it here. I hope I don't lose my finger right now. Oh, there we go. No. <laughs> Martin's got the WD-40 off camera. You can't see that. Might be a good idea. A little bit of lubrication there. Not the recommended way, I'm sure. Oh, thank you, Martin. Saved my finger. All right, on to the next step. That's wild. So, first thing to do is to measure my sides here. So it's 0.2385. Take off 120 thousandths of an inch. Make sure I got the right side. Oh, that would be bad. Okay, so this side. Giddy up, giddy up. Should be done that side. I'm gonna check it here. Whoa, just gonna check it here. I was looking for 0.12. Yeah, maybe one and a half thou to half a thou under, or oh, one. Acceptable. So now I'm gonna do the other side here. I'm just gonna take this burr off. Just gonna check it, because this side looks quite a bit thicker here. So we're at point one, two, one. Oh yeah, oh, Timothy, Timothy. This is 0.94, six thou under my, oh, that side's pretty good. So I should take off, they're like 19 thou on this side. Wow, that's not cool. So be it, this is the way. So I've gotten the sides to the thickness that's required. I'm gonna stick this in here now, actually on this side, and just machine a square perpendicular line to the sides so that I can prop this up, cut this thing off on the top. Nothing crazy yet. <laughs> So I've actually just changed my mind a little bit on how I'm going to go about this thing. Um, I'm just worried about uh, it cracking because it's just unknown material. So I'm going to go and take and round out this back because I need the stability to hold it and then face the reality that I might have to hand file in that bevel on the front. I'm just going to take that, uh, I guess that risk over the other option. And I think this next step here is where we're gonna have the highest probability that this thing's gonna fall apart. So what I'm gonna do is use this bar in here, clamp it like that, and then I'm gonna slowly machine and rotate, you'll see how as we go, the angle, and that will actually create a perfect round back. Or it'll facet it, but it'll get it pretty close to perfect. And that's why I need that stability to hang on to it. So we're gonna give that a go and we'll get on to facing the front of it. happened. Oh man. 
Okay, so that completely blew apart. I was going as soft as I could too, like just a couple thou at a time. Wow. That's a total bust, hey? Wow. Wait, are we missing a piece here? Oh, I am too, I'm missing like a whole quarter. Okay, so we're gonna have to restart here. I think I'm gonna do the next one with a, more like a hand file, just so there's not so much force on it. Drill the hole and then just grind it. Probably be less vibration, which is what got me here. So we'll just kind of do a little bit of a different style project now. <laughs> um, I think I can still get it. I'm just gonna go about it a little bit different. High risk here. Don't have anything else to say. Just let's restart. Okay, I guess that's gonna be it for me today. I was hoping to get a little bit further, but wasn't planning on this to happen. So we'll pick it up in part three. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. See you guys, have a good one. <sighs>